Hi, I'm Dirk with Darien Detail here in Connecticut and just want to take the opportunity to show you around this uh, 911 Turbo S project that we've just completed. So this car is brand new right off the showroom floor and we did a new car prep service and paint correction work. Uh, we did a full body wrap and paint protection film and also did our uh, full Seacourse Finest Reserve service. So we started with getting the car clean. We did a lot of polishing work to really, uh, you know, just get the finish looking as good as we possibly can uh, before we move on to the film installation. So doing, uh, you know, fixing some factory sanding marks, uh, swirl marks from shipping and handling, things like that. Um, every square inch of the car, we fully covered in film. So from the chalk gray paint to the carbon fiber trim, uh, the gloss black roof panels, Everything's been fully covered in film. Uh, we do a lot of heavily customized installation, a lot of hand trimming, um, some light disassembly, really just to try and minimize the appearance of the film as much as possible. We want it to be as invisible as possible. And then we topped everything off with doing our Seacourt's finest reserve service over all the film. So this car is gonna be uh, really well protected from stone chips, scratches, scuffs, that type of thing. Um, and also have a really nice uh, finish on it, really nice shine from the sea courts and also be much easier to uh, keep clean and take care of. So I wanna show you around some of the details of the paint protection film installation. So starting on the front end, if we take a look at the hood crest on all Porsches, we always take these out. Uh, that allows us to lay the film into that recess nice and smoothly. We can then apply the uh, Porsche badge back on top and that way we're not gonna have any edge or cut out or any kind of like unsightly um, opening around the hood crest. It's especially important considering it's such a focal point on the front end of the car. Around the hood and the bumper, the fenders, all these edges around the body panels have all been tucked underneath by about a quarter of an inch. Around the headlights, these edges have been tucked nicely behind the headlight here, underneath on the bumper. Same scenario with the side marker lights, we remove those so that you get a nice fit and finish in that area. A um, little bit more complicated process is to do a seamless door installation. So these doors have your door handle in this area, as well as a uh, side mirror mounted on the door. Um, so you, a lot of guys will use a, a, just a pre-cut piece on the doors and it does cover them, but you are gonna have to have a seam and some visible edges around the handle, as well as around the, uh, the mirror on, above there. So what we do on these cars, what we like to do, um, since this owner wanted just the, the most seamless installation we can, we can offer, um, we've actually done some disassembly, removed the door handle, removed the mirror, installed film onto the panel, and then put everything back together. And as you can see, you're not gonna see any seams or edges around where the door handle is. There's no seam above the mirror in this area. Um, and we carry that, that kind of methodology throughout the whole car. We've also taken out these carbon intakes uh, specifically on Porsche 911s, especially the turbos and the big wide body cars, we notice that this area gets a lot of heavy wear and tear. Basically every mile down the road, your front tires are catching debris and kicking it back up towards the rear of the car. So we like to actually double layer film in this area so that uh, you know a couple years down the line, the customer could remove and replace that small impact piece without having to replace the entire rear quarter panel in film. Um, although everything is wrapped, it just gives us some extra peace of mind in that area that does really just get so much road rash. Uh, carbon uh, intake was fully covered. Coming around the back of the car, we'll look at some of the details back here. Um, the satellite antenna, this, there's not gonna see any edge around here. This has all been taken apart so that we could tuck the film underneath, um, put it back together. There's, as you can see, you're not gonna see any visible edges around here, around the intake, um, around the uh, antenna here. On the rear bumper, this was done completely freehand, a fully customized installation. Tail lights are removed, so you're not gonna have any visible edges in this area. The badges on the rear, we've taken those off so that uh, there's not gonna be a cutout around each letter. That's something you'll see on a lot of Porsches that are wrapped with a pre-cut kit. Um, it just doesn't look the greatest, so we really try and uh, take these off if we can, if we have the opportunity. Um, badges are removed and we actually put them back on using uh, Porsche's factory jig. We actually have the factory tool that they're used, uh, you know, that was used to put them on at the factory. So we're able to get the placement and the alignment perfect. What a lot of guys get wrong on these badges is that there's actually a subtle curve in the word Porsche. So we're able to replicate that using the tool. Uh, and just generally on the rear of the car here, everything's done as seamlessly as we possibly can. There's no seams around the license plate bracket. Um, and just trying to make everything look, uh, you know, as invisible as we possibly can. Once the film installation was complete, we went ahead and got ready prepping the car for the C-Quartz coating. 
So that was applied. We did a number of coats onto the paint and then also infrared cured it. Um, so this uh, car, obviously it's hard to convey through video, but this car is really slick to the touch um, and will also be slick when it comes into uh, contact with you know, dirt and debris. So the car will stay a little bit cleaner and when you do go to wash it, uh, you know, this car will be really easy to take care of. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you guys around this car that we just finished up. And uh, yeah, look forward to showing you guys some more projects we have coming in the shop.